see this, yes. Sun's gone past the old yard arm. I'm Baron Bullshyster, so it's time for another fabulous fable from Fartwell, yes. So we're in the east wing of Fartwell Manor, and uh, what, what have we got for you today? Lady Gertrude, Lady Gertrude, has, uh, she's been having a bit of a, a smashing time. I don't know if you can see this. You see, she's, uh, she's smashed this window. Now I'm gonna, I've been shown how to fix it by Ben the Builder, so I'm going to show you how to fix the window, and I'm going to tell you why she um, she's been having a smashing time. So just have a quick of lub lubricating, a bit, bit of lubrication, and um, and uh, and we're going to we're going to crack on with uh, mending the window. Cheers. So there we have a bit more of a close up of the old window. Now, what we're we going to do this these bits here, this area here. Because this is the glass here, and this this area here is putty, which holds the glass in. This is all, and what we have to do is get take the putty out. You see, so um, so the best way to do this, or one of the best ways, is uh, this is what Benjamin the builder said, is you need an old chisel and a hammer, and you need to go round and chisel out the putty. You see, like that. You see. Look at that. So you just chisel it out, like so. Be very careful not to, not to actually cut into the wood. So you've got to, got to keep, keep an eye on it. And uh, just, just keep chiseling. See, there's a bit, bit of wood there. I don't know if you can see that, where I've gone a bit too mad there you see that it doesn't matter too much we'll just neaten that up a bit go the other way right now there's another thing i'll show you i'll just show you this other thing this is another way you can uh, you can actually take out putty um this is a more modern method. More, um, I haven't actually had a go with this, but um, this is uh, this is uh, Ben's Ben the Builder's bad boy. He let me borrow, and uh, I don't know why they call it a bad boy, but um, but we're gonna we're gonna see how this goes anyway. I don't know if you can still see this. You lay the if you lay the blade flat on the glass, you see instead of instead of it hitting the glass, if you lay it flat, then it won't won't hopefully won't do any. Um, any damage to the already broken glass. So get that video camera over there. There you go, look at that, you see? Saves a lot of saves a lot of banging with the old hammer, doesn't it? So so there you go. If you can get a hold of one of these bad boys then uh, then it might be it might be a wise investment there we go so I'm just going to carry on and go all the way around this to, to um, see if I can get the glass out so I'll get back to you in a second now Benjamin um, the builder he said what you need to do after you've after you've got rid of the, the face putty that's called the face putty that is what you need to do is go around the other side and tap the glass and until it, it falls out so um, what I so I've got a tap I found a tap this is the uh, this is the tap that um, uh, uh, the servants have because um, uh, Lord and Lady Fartwell, before um, any of the servants are allowed to um, enter one of the rooms that they're in, they have to tap on the door. So this is the the tap they use. So I borrowed this off of Molly, Molly the the maid. So she's lent me her tap. So I'm going to tap this glass out. So let's just do this. <laughs> There you go, it works a treat, you see. It's marvellous, isn't it? There you go. So tap the glass out. There you go. And now, after you've cleaned, the, after you've um, tapped the glass out, uh, what you need to do is um, is clean clean these rebates. This is called a rebate, what the glass fits into. And you can see it's, it's got the, 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 the old glass has been bedded onto some putty as well. So you, 
not just got face putty, but you've got the bed putty here that's got to be just cleaned up and taken out so it goes back so that it's um, it's, it's nice and clear and um, and we can actually put some more bed putty on in a sec. So the best way to do this is uh, get your chisel again and um, go around and uh, take it out like so. You see, obviously there's some there's some more putty on this side of the rebate as well. So you might have to take that out as well. Bit of a bit of a boring job, but uh, hopefully we can get it done soon. Uh, oh, so, so why has, um, well, it's just, so you just carry on until you've got them nicely, nicely cleaned out. Maybe use the, uh, the old bad boy a bit to do this as well. Marvellous, marvellous. Yes, it seems to be doing a marvellous, a lot easier than using the chisel. So yes, definitely get hold of one of these bad boys. So there we have it. We've um, we've we've gone around and we've uh, we've uh, got rid of most of the putty out of the got rid of all the putty out of the out of the rebates. And what we're going to do next is we're going to put some paint on the bare wood, because what will happen? Two reasons really. Uh, one is if you put the linseed oil putty onto the wood, um, it'll the 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 wood will soak up the linseed oil. And um, it m might make the putty crack, and um, and um, and then the water the water will get in. And also, if you painted these these rebates, um, if any water does get in, it's going to run out and not actually soak into the wood. So that's a another a reason why you really want to get a coat of paint on before you put your paint of glass in. Um, so so we're gonna we're gonna get some paint now, and we're gonna. Just well, I'm going to get a bit of sandpaper and sand them round a bit, and then I'm going to going to put some paint on. So now we're going to uh, just going to put a bit of paint around the old putties, not round the putties, round the rebates. There we are, just to seal them up, like I said earlier. Get it sealed up. There we go. If you had a new window, it's probably uh, best to get a primer and an undercoat on before you put the glass in if it was a brand new window. There we go, we're going to let this uh, let this paint uh, thoroughly dry. Now, now we need to uh, need to cut a pane of glass um, to fit the hole. Um, I know I've showed you how to do this before, but I don't know if I've actually showed you how to cut a piece to fit the hole. So what you actually need is um, is to cut the glass about three millimeters or one eighth of an inch smaller than uh, than the actual opening. So I'm just going to put that on there like so, and I'm going to mark it at least three millimeters back from the from the edge. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, do the same on the other end. Like so. And so we've got two two marks top and bottom. And then we're gonna cut. We're gonna cut that. I don't know. What you need to do is, is get a get your two marks. You need to get a straight edge. You need to put a bit of lubricant on your glass cutter. You can see the glass cutter. Put a bit, a bit of the old lubricant on there. Right. Hold, it, hold your straight edge down nice and firm. You don't want it to slide around anywhere. You want, I don't know if you can see that, but you've got a, um, you, the cutter is about three millimeters off the edge. So you wanna, your straight edge wants to be three millimeters in off your marks. Just 
hold it upright and pull it across. Make sure you come off the edge. And then, because we've only got a, this is a very narrow piece of glass that we're cutting, we're actually going to use a pair of um, pliers just to just to take the, the glass off, like so. See that? Like that. There you go. So that's the side edge cut. So now that should fit in there, like so. And we're gonna gotta cut it cut it for um cut it for length as well. So I'm gonna put that on there like so. Maybe you can see that. Let's put that back over there. Now we put a couple of marks on there, three millimeters back from the edge, there and there. And we're gonna cut that the same. Always put your straight edge on the bit of the glass that you actually want. You don't want the, if, the, if you put it around the other way, the glass cutter could veer off and go onto the piece of glass that you, you want and it would ruin it. in a one that was that just come off in a one there you go so that's the glass cut ready to go in so now for the putty right this is uh this is linseed oil putty now this is where it might get a bit sticky what you really want to do is keep this stuff at room temperature you don't want it uh, too cold and you don't want it too hot so the best thing to do is uh, if it's cold outside then uh, keep it indoors and if it's hot outside, keep it indoors. So we're uh, gonna get it out of here. This is not. Best thing to do is don't just take a bit out of that pot, get it all out and mix it up. Right, so there we go, we've got it, got all the putty out and we've got it on a bit of cardboard. Now the reason why I've got a bit of cardboard is because it's got linseed oil in it and the, the cardboard will help soak up some of the linseed oil. So uh, what you need to do is sort of knead it a bit like, um, a bit like pastry, I suppose. A bit like dough. And you get in there. And you, what you don't want is any lumps. So we've got to get a, a consistency so it's nice and placid. So this is gonna, you're gonna have to work at this for a little while. And what you might have to do, if it's very sticky, if it's very sticky, what you've got, what you can do, I've got a bit of polyfiller here. And what you can do is you can sprinkle a little bit of polyfiller on it to um, to to take off the stickiness. Um, I did the the the, the, um, the maid, one of the maids at Farwell. She's uh, she's called Polly. And when she said, she, when she heard me talking about polyfiller, she said, uh, Beastie Bill, Beastie Bill the butler, she said, is, uh, is my polyfiller. And I thought, well, if he's gonna, if he's gonna go around doing polyfilling, you know, maybe, um, maybe I should take a video of him doing it, seeing as, you know, I like doing, doing videos. And then I thought, well, then I realized what she was talking about. And I thought, well, be probably best not to, um, not to take a video of that even though it'd probably be more popular than my videos. But um, as you can see, just keep working, working at it. Um, this is not, it's not too sticky, this uh, putty, luckily. Um, the other thing you can do, you can add a bit of, um, bit of white spirits. That's another thing that's a bit sticky. So you just knead it like you do with the old pastry. There you have it, really. That's, I think that's pretty well ready to go. So we'll go back to the window now and uh, do a bit of puttying on the window. Right, so back to the um, the, um, 
the window, the sash. Now we've um, the paint's dried. So now what we've got to do is get a bit of putty. Get the putty. We've already stirred it all up. Get your putty. What you need to do, what you need to do, is you need to get a bit in your hand like this, you see. And you're going to push it, push it with your thumb. You see, push it with your thumb. So here we go. So pushing away with your thumb, you see, like so. Can you see? I hope if you can see that, okay. And go right the way around, pushing it in with your thumb. And this is the bed putty, really. So the bed, the glass is going to go in on top of this, and it's going to sit on top. Now I haven't told you why the uh, why I'm actually doing this really. It's because uh, because of Lady Gertrude got rather excited. Yes, yes, Lady Gertrude and um, and uh, Lord Fartwell they've been playing around with each other. Yes. That's why they're a little bit embarrassed. And uh, and what happened is Lady Fart, not Lady Fart, well, Lord, no, not Lord, um, Lady Gertrude, she, um, she got hold of uh, Lord Fartwell's equipment. Yes, and uh, look at that. She got very excited when she... Uh, got all of his equipment. Now, uh, so that's all the putties in here, right, ready to go. And uh, now we're gonna do is put the glass in. So, this is the pane of glass I cut earlier, so you just, just lay it in there like so. Give it, a, give it a push down. Don't rub your hands on it or anything like that, because if it, if it splits when it goes in, you might cut yourself. So, so there we go. And then the only so she's nicely pushed in tight. What we need next is a uh, about a five eight or sixteen millimeter brad or a, a tack. And this is to hold the glass in, and they really, what you really need is a, is a brass one, or a um, brass or stainless steel. But um, this is just a. Most people really just use steel, steel um, tacks um, these days, but. What, the reason why you don't really want steel is because it rusts up, it'll rust, eventually it'll go rusty and um, it'll split the glass. And sometimes if you see a pane of glass that's split, you'll probably find that there's a, a steel tack gone rusty at the, the edge of it. So that's why you don't really want to use steel tacks. So you put those in there and that holds the glass in while the putty dries because the putty's going to take a a few days or probably a few weeks to dry. So then after you've done that, um, after you've done that, you're ready to do the, the face putties. So you get your more putty and you do the same again. You push it in and you go around like so. Now what I was, what was I saying about, yes, uh, Lady Gertrude and, uh, and Lord Fartler, they've been playing around with each other, yes. And, um, and so, uh, yes. So she got, she's, she got. Oh, she hasn't got any equipment. Any, any. Obviously, she hasn't got any balls of her own. So she's got hold of Lord Lord Fartwell's balls, and she got hold of his wood. And she was swinging his wood backwards and forwards. And um, this is a golf course, by the way. It was playing. They play play around a golf with each other. Yes, I don't know what you were thinking, but um, they were playing around a golf with each other, and. Um, they were outside the uh, clubhouse, and um, and she uh, she was swinging his wood backwards and forwards, and uh, and she got very excited, and it slipped out of her hand and went through the window. So that's how she broke the window. 
But Lady Fartwell doesn't know that um, that Lord Fartwell and Lady Gertrude have been playing around with each other. So please don't um, please don't mention that. So uh, if you get all you get uh, you get putty on your fingers and they get all sticky, you see. So that's not very good. Now what we've got here is a putty knife. Is a putty knife. And uh, some people use putty knives, and you can use whatever you want. But uh, you just put your putty knife on there, and you you bring it back like so. There you go. Can you see that? Easy. And generally, if you've got the the mix of the putty putty about right, it should be okay. Let me just take the out. And what you need to do is is get the Get the angle right so it goes so it doesn't when you cut the putties off on the other side you don't want to see the this bit of putty the face putty so let me probably just tidy it up again cut through that a second time there we go marvelous you can use you can use other things apart from putty knives i've got this here this is a square square sort of thing let's have a go at using this bad that's not bad the only other thing I don't know if you can see that there but the tack the tack is just showing there so what we'll do is just, just push it back a little bit more like that I right, put a bit more still over this again This one here. Tidy them up a bit. Turn it over. Like so. I'll just clean off the inside. Make sure that it's all. And you take all the putty off and it's filled up on the inside. You don't want any holes round inside the glass there. Turn it back over. Yeah, there, there we go. So there we have it. There's the uh, there's glass in place. So we take this up back up to the golf club and um, put it back in. So they'll be jolly pleased with that. So uh, so the moral of that story is is for. Uh, if you're playing around with somebody else, watch out, you might get sticky fingers. Yeah. Cheers everybody, toodaloo.